I'm Dr. Daniel Karitskis, Chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. These are Mass General Brigham's answers to the most commonly asked questions on COVID-19 vaccines. Are COVID-19 vaccines safe? There have been over 100 million people who have received the COVID-19 vaccines, and we know that these vaccines have been well tolerated by the overwhelming majority of people. These vaccines are highly effective and they're safe. What types of vaccines are available? Currently in the United States, there are three vaccines that have emergency use authorization to protect against COVID-19. Two of these, the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine, are mRNA vaccines that require two doses. The third vaccine, the J&J &J vaccine, is a recombinant adenovirus vaccine that requires only a single dose. These are highly effective vaccines. We're seeing efficacy of between 80 and 95%, depending on the particular vaccine. That compares to efficacy for the flu vaccine of 50 to 60%, and that's in a good year. Do the vaccines protect against new variants? So far, the evidence we have shows that the current COVID-19 vaccines are effective against the variants that are currently circulating. Whether new variants might arise in the future that are able to escape from this generation of vaccines, we'll only be able to see uh, after we've had further follow-up. What does the COVID-19 vaccine do to your body? The COVID-19 vaccines get taken up by the muscles into which they're injected. They make the cells in your body produce the spike protein of COVID-19 so that the body is then able to react immunologically to it, making antibodies and other uh, immune responses that protect you from becoming infected. And then they get degraded and they disappear. Should I get vaccinated if I'm pregnant? If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you should definitely get the vaccine because it's gonna protect you from developing severe COVID-19 and has the added benefit of transferring antibodies against COVID-19 to your baby to protect the baby as soon as it's born. Does the vaccine cause infertility or miscarriages? The CDC has done extensive research on the safety of COVID-19 vaccines in women who wish to become pregnant or who are pregnant when they get vaccinated. There is no evidence at all that the vaccines cause miscarriages or that they interfere with a woman's fertility. What if I'm immunocompromised? Do I need a booster? People who are immunocompromised should receive three shots of the Moderna or Pfizer mRNA vaccines in order to be considered fully immunized. What should I do to protect myself? There are two things that you can do to protect yourself from COVID-19. The first and most important is to get vaccinated. The second is to continue wearing a mask indoors in crowded situations with people who might not be vaccinated, especially now that we're seeing surges of COVID-19. Does having side effects from the vaccine mean it's working? When you get vaccinated, you develop an immune response to the vaccine. Often that's accompanied by low-grade fever, muscle aches and pains, sometimes chills. Not everybody who gets vaccinated has side effects, but that doesn't mean that the vaccine isn't still working. How long does it take for the vaccine to become effective? The vaccines become effective within a couple of weeks after completing the vaccine series. So depending on which vaccine you get, you can count on being fully protected between 14 days and a month after completing the vaccination. Should I get vaccinated if I've already had COVID-19 and recovered? People who have recovered from COVID-19 are still at risk from being reinfected with COVID-19, especially from different strains. It's very important for people to get vaccinated even if they've already had COVID-19. Can the COVID-19 vaccine cause a positive test result? The tests that we commonly use to determine if somebody has previously had COVID-19 detect a different part of the virus than the protein that's included in the vaccine. So there's no way that we're gonna confuse who's been vaccinated and who has had previous COVID-19. Can I transmit the vaccine to someone else? We know that certain kinds of vaccines, like the measles vaccine or the original chickenpox vaccine, are live virus vaccines, and those vaccines can sometimes be transmitted to other people. That's not the case with the COVID-19 vaccine. The mRNA vaccines are just that, messenger RNA. They're not viruses. They can't be transmitted. And the recombinant adenovirus vaccine is a dead virus that can't be reproduced and won't be transmitted to anybody either. If I've been vaccinated against COVID-19, can I still catch COVID-19? You're much less likely to become severely ill with COVID-19 and much, much less likely to die from COVID-19 if you've been vaccinated. If you have been vaccinated and get COVID-19 and develop symptoms, it's still important to get medical advice from your healthcare provider because we wanna make sure that you get the best medical care you can. 
Will I have to get a COVID-19 vaccination every year like the flu shot? We really don't know. Right now, we're looking at boosting people who completed their initial vaccine series. We don't know how long boosted immunity might last. It's possible that people may need to get boosters on a regular basis. It's also possible that the virus might change and we'll need to get boosted with a modified vaccine that more closely matches variants that emerge down the road. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Karitskis, and we are Mass General Brigham.